Good afternoon. And thank you for attending the introductory press conference for our new head men's basketball coach, Jordan Mincy. My name is Alex Ricker Gilbert. I'm the athletics director here at JU. I would like to acknowledge in attendance today President Tim Cost. Thank you for your unwavering support of our student athletes, our staff, and of me. This is symbolic of your commitment to our young people. So thank you. Our, our chair of the board, Jamie Shelton, and board of trustees members, men's basketball alums, Artis Gilmore, Hall of Famer, D. Brown, JU Hall of Famer, all of our university supporters, longtime fans, media, member of our Student Government Association and Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and our search committee, Lauren Sevis, Hannah Glickenhaus, Justin Wilkins, Scott Bacon, and my friend and mentor, Dr. Richard Sander of Top Connect. I would also like to thank our incredible media relations staff, development staff, marketing staff for making today happen. It came quick. Laura, Matt, Whitney, Laura Phelps, Scott Manzi, Duncan Boone, Katie Leahy, Patrick Murphy, Ryan Quintero, Aaron Lodge, Dave Faraday, and Ryan Duff. Thank you. And my fiance, Hillary, thanks for putting up with me for the last three weeks as we got our guy. Jacksonville University is committed to men's basketball. We are committed to not only competing for A-Sun championships, but winning A-Sun championships. We've made difficult decisions on what we play, how we play, where we focus our resources. Next door, we are building a state-of-the-art practice facility for our men's and women's basketball programs. But before we can succeed, we must continue to build. And in this business, you build with people. You build with laying the foundation for your culture. You build with relationships and love and passion for our young people and for the community. We set out on this search looking for our next great basketball coach. But what was more important what was, that, what was that we found somebody that, that what was the right person who could pour into our young people with relationships, not just as basketball players, but as people. We had specific criteria, focus on connecting and relating and pouring in to our student athletes. Embrace the place. Embrace Jacksonville University for the opportunity that it is. Someone who has a diverse set of experiences, who has played and coached at all levels. Someone who's connected in the recruiting base in the Southeast and connected in the industry. And last, but certainly not least, someone who is going to engage and be part of not just Jacksonville University as a community, but Northeast Florida and our city. From the time I first talked to Jordan and was able to get to know his wife, Tish, I had a feeling that Jordan would be our guy. And throughout the process, it became clearer as days went on that he was the right person and the type of person who we were looking for. Hungry, smart, personable, 
a winner, a tenacious recruiter, a connector, a builder, and as humble as anyone I have ever met. This business has a lot of great people, but it also has a lot of egos. Jordan's humility separated him. I've been blown away these last couple of days. I think we've kept Jordan here longer than he expected. We had to take him to the dry cleaners today, but he's hanging in there. I've been blown away by how he's interacted with each and every person on this campus since he stepped on campus. I've talked to more than 25 people from Jordan's past, whether they're coaches, friends, media relations staff members, athletic trainers, strength coaches, friends, mentors. What's stunning is the consistency of the feedback I've gotten about Jordan Mincy. Great basketball coach, great recruiter, but that I will find nobody, and we will find nobody, that is able to create relationships and pour into and be part of our young people's lives as more than just basketball players like Jordan Mincy. He's a great coach, but he's a better person. Jordan Mincy is not only the perfect fit for our, for our program, he's the perfect person for our university to lead Jacksonville men's basketball back to prominence. And make no mistake, Jacksonville men's basketball is coming. Jacksonville University, a men's basketball program under Jordan Mitchell's leadership, is going to be a program that can do it. A program that has an unbelievable work there. A program that is first class and comes with care. We're going to do an unbelievable job of doing the relationships, not only with JV, but in the Jacksonville community, also uh, through all time. And, you know, we have a rich history. We understand the importance uh, that this, this opportunity plays. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our new head men's basketball coach, Jordan Mincy, and his wife, Tish Mincy. Alex is a little taller than me, so excuse me as I move down the uh, microphone, please. How's everyone doing? Everybody doing well? Okay, okay. Well, I stand in front of you today. Thank you guys for this opportunity. Um, from my first few conversations with Alex, his vision was very crystal clear. He gave me the opportunity to know what he wanted from the basketball uh, head coaching position here at JU and he never steered from that throughout this entire process. And I th I'm thankful to him for that. As far as the commitment that he's shown uh, throughout the course of the last two days and the last few weeks, it's been undeniable. You can see right outside these doors the type of commitment that they have. You can hear the, uh, the sounds of the building that's going next door, and you understand how valuable and how strong their commitment is to this men's basketball program. As far as my time here, I, I arrived here in Jacksonville a couple days ago, and the first few uh, minutes I was here on campus, I got a chance to sit down with President Koss and spend uh, 10 or 15 or so minutes with him, and he was unbelievable as far as being in his office and just talking about the rich culture and the environment here at JU. He actually got a chance in the first five minutes to talk about the different trophies and the different sporting events that occurred during his time here. And the attention to detail that he showed talking about each one of those events allowed me to get a crystal clear vision of what he wanted this program to be, and I'm thankful for that. As we walked around campus, 
President Cox, as you many of you know, he has an unbelievable uh, personality. And he's excited about JU and he's passionate about JU. And so he told me the biggest word that comes to mind when you think about JU is the culture. And people play a strong part of that culture. And I'm extremely thankful um, that he, get, he spent time with me that day. I know he's extremely busy. And it was evident from my meetings on campus, being able to talk to the different administrators, the different coaches on staff, how powerful the vision and the culture was here at Jacksonville. Not only at JU, but in the city of Jacksonville and also in Duval County. And so I'm extremely thankful. And I just want to take this time to thank you guys for welcoming myself, along with my wife, Leticia, to this family. We're proud to represent JU culture. We're proud to represent the city of Jacksonville. We're proud to represent Duval County. I also want to take time to thank a lot of my mentors who poured into me throughout the years, giving me the opportunity to grow at such a young age in the profession. I want to also thank the assistant coaches who I work day in and day out with to recruit and help build culture without these, throughout these different programs. And I ultimately want to thank our student athletes who were there giving their blood, sweat, and tears to allow me to stand here in front of you today. Thank you. I also want to give a special thanks to Mike White and the University of Florida for guiding me and being there for me the last six years, pouring into me and giving me the ability to stand here in front of you today, knowing that I'm fully prepared to take on this position and the challenges that it has. Last, and I told myself I wasn't going to get emotional when I thanked this person. Um, I actually talked to one of my close friends, Amir Duraim, last night the head coach for Kennesaw State, and I was telling him about his press conference. He got so emotional when he uh, started to thank his wife. And um, I, uh, yeah, I told myself I wasn't going to get emotional, but uh, I need to make sure that I thank my wife, Leticia, who's uh, been an unbelievable support of mine and been there every step of the way. Tish, I, um, I am who I am because you're beside me. You're, uh, you're my best friend. Um, you've allowed me to be who I am in life, and I greatly appreciate you for that. I wouldn't be uh, the Jordan Mincy you guys see before me if it wasn't for that woman being beside my side, and uh, I'm thankful for that. I'm gonna try to get over the sentimental point, try to catch my breath, sorry. Um, you guys may ask, what does a Jordan Mincy program look like at JU? And I'll tell you this, I'll start with the players. The one thing that I'll tell you and I'll promise to you is that every day, from myself to our staff, we're going to pour in you with everything that we have. We're going to make sure that you're the best version of yourself daily. When you leave JU, we want you to be able to be prepared for, to be successful in every field of human endeavor. As far as this program, it's not just my program, it's our program. We're going to build it step by step and build it brick by brick, and we're going to win. It's not a matter of how, it's just when. We're going to do it. As far as our fan base, I want to challenge you and let you know that we're going to put a product on the floor that you can be proud of. As you saw in the video plan before, this team is going to be resilient. It's going to have a work ethic, work ethic that you can fall behind, and then they're going to be unbelievably filled with character. We're going to win championships, not only on the floor, in the classroom, but also in the community. I promise you that. As far as our alums and also our former players, I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to D and talk to artists, and they were unbelievable as far as talking about the standard of success from the past. You can even see here the different players that have come through here and the level of success that was here in the past. And I just want to open my arms to you, alumni and former players, and let you know that, look, you are welcome here. This is your program. This is our program. We want you all to be here and help us build this program from the ground up and get it back to that level of success. I promise you, like I said before, this is our program. Not my program, this is our program. In closing, I would like to say this. As far as this team, as far as this program, we're going to need everyone in this building, everybody in the JU campus, everybody in the city of Jacksonville, everybody in Duval County to get it done. 
And when we win, it's going to be the, it's going to be together. I promise you that. We're going to get this done. We're going to build a program that everyone in this building, everyone in this city, everyone in this county can be proud of. I promise you that. It may take time, but I'm willing to put in the work. And as I stated before, the people that I've met over the course of the last week, I know they're willing to put the work into, and they're fully committed to that process. Thank you for your time, and I greatly appreciate being your next head coach. And with that, we will open it up to questions. Scott Manzi will have a microphone that he can share with those that are up. Coach. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Welcome. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Well, the two words that come to mind when you think about JU and a Jordan Mincy coach program is going to be tempo and it's going to be edge. Those are the two words that you can count on from day one. And when I say that offensively, we're going to play with tempo. We're going to try to score within the first eight seconds. We're going to give our players a lot of freedom to exert and show their skill set. As I like to say, offense is great, defense is more black and white. And so being able to let our players know and our young men know they're going to have unlimited freedom. We're going to try to score within the first eight seconds, but we also have to be really good at executing in the half court, especially in the last four minutes of games. As you probably have seen on TV, the teams who have been great at executing in the last four minutes are the teams that are usually successful, especially this time of the year. And then defensively, we want to play with tempo. We want to control the game. And at the same time, we want to play with an edge that teams in this league will fear. And they'll understand when they come into a pack swisher that they're going to have a fight it's a tooth and nail to make sure that they beat us on this floor. I have one follow up. A couple of young men who are in the transfer portal. Uh, you know, obviously, you're going to have conversations with them. Do you think you can convince them to stay here? A couple of pretty good players. We have, we have a talented roster, and I understand that. I understand that talent hasn't really been a problem here at JU. And so, um, the, the role that I have today, the schedule that I have today is to sit down individually and meet with each one of those young men and just talk about their plans. A lot of times, I believe coaches come in and tell them, look, this is the vision I have for you, but how can I effectively help serve and lead those young men if I don't know what they're looking for as far as their future ambitions? And so I'm um, very confident that I'll be able to build a strong relationship with the men who stay here that are two feet in. And as I stated before, the, the men and the young men who stay here, we're going to win. It's not, it's not how we're going to win. It's only it's a moment of time when we're going to win. Hey, Coach uh, Gene Fernet from the Times Union. Uh, Coach White said yesterday, I asked him about the possibility of you guys uh, playing against each other in the future. Sometimes coaches are a little reluctant to play former assistants just because of the awkwardness of it. But Mike uh, said, uh, you know, if, if it works out, he said, that, he said that'd be great. He, he didn't dismiss it. He didn't say he would, but he certainly didn't dismiss the possibility at all. I wonder how you feel about it. Definitely going to be up to the opportunity. As you probably know, Dusty May, one of our former assistants, he's the head coach now at Florida Atlantic University. And due to COVID this year, um, they were actually on the schedule to play us um, this year in Gainesville. And so we had to end up canceling that, unfortunately. But um, like I said, Coach White is very open to it. That's something that we discussed prior to leaving, um, prior to my time coming down here to Jacksonville. And so uh, trust and believe that's going to be one of the main things on, as far as scheduling goes with this program is try to get games uh, two for one with the University of Florida. Uh, as a follow-up to that, uh, every coach has to decide for himself how many of these so-called money games you want to play. People play three or four, cross town rivals, here plays as many as seven sometimes uh, for obvious reasons to get more resources in the program. How many of those type of games are you on an annual basis comfortable playing playing? Anywhere between three and four, you know, just depending on the roster, just depending on um, 
our guys and their comfortability level and understanding that we want them to be battle tested when they go into league play. And we understand that, you know, the better competition that we play, especially early on, the more battle tested they'll be prepared to um, compete for a Sun championship. And so, um, like I said, three to four uh, is, is the comfortability level with that. Most definitely. You know, I had an opportunity to sit down with the team as a whole yesterday evening, and I explained to them that, you know, I know a lot of them are in the transfer portal, and, you know, I don't hold anything against them. They came here to play for another head coach. And so, you know, I'm a big relationship guy, and I understand that, you know, relationship plays a part as far as those young men wanting to stay here. And at the same time, they chose JU for a reason. It wasn't just because of the basketball piece. It was for the academics. It was for the city of Jacksonville. Um, it's for the overall experience. And so just asking them, like I said before, what can I do to help you? How can I serve you effectively? And if our visions align, then obviously we would love for you to stay here. But they're always going to have my support. And like I said, I'm very understanding that they may want to go and um, choose a different destination. But I'm definitely going to fight tooth and nail to keep them here. Hi, Jordan. You know what, through that process, what I learned is how fragile um, the mental part of the game is for our young men and how important it is to have a certain level of communication and how strong the relationship truly matters. You know, a lot of times um, throughout this COVID uh, ep epidemic, you've had problems where a lot of these young men have been quarantined, they've been by themselves. And throughout the course of their last few years, they haven't been by themselves. They haven't been forced to be in a room by themselves. And so just understanding a certain level of communication, building on relationships and making them stronger, uh, just making sure that you continuously tap into that young generation's mental um, is ultimately important. I just want to follow up on the, on the, the young men you've had a chance to have conversations with so far yes. on this team. Have you formed any impression of them as a whole, what kind of young men they are, and uh, what you're uh, looking forward to as far as working with them, the ones who do decide to stay and the ones you've already met? You know what? Um, yesterday we had a great conversation. It was um, very enlightening for me. Um, I appreciate them. They gave me an opportunity um, to be open and honest, and I appreciate those guys for that. You know, uh, one of the most common things as far as the uh, most common questions they asked was my age. And they said, you know, coach, you, you know, you're, you look kind of young, you look kind of hip. And so uh, just being able to kind of open that stage to them and let them know that, look, I'm a big relationship guy. I'm a player's coach. I'm going to love you to death. I'm going to try to make sure that I pour, in you, pour into you continuously and that um, we're going to have a great relationship. And so um, my impression of them was awesome. You know, like I said, um, for a group of young men to be able to be open and honest and be able to give your thoughts at that age, um, as you know, it, it's important. And so, um, like I said, you can tell there was a lot of high character individuals in that room, and I was very impressed when I walked out. We'll have time for one more question. One of our core values is put others first. And Jordan 
throughout all of our conversations talked about what he was able to do in his career for other people, for his, coach, for his fellow coaches, for his student athletes, for the staff at the University of Florida or Louisiana Tech or College of Charleston, or Toledo or Kent State. And when somebody is on a job interview and talks about helping other people, and you couple that with what our core values are about, and that's these young men and women, that's how his humility shone through. Okay, we thank you all for coming today. Really appreciate this exciting time and you being part of this exciting time with us. We ask that if you want to stay around and speak with Jordan, Coach Mincy, perhaps take a picture with Coach Mincy, he will be right over here by the step and repeat. I will be on the opposite side if anybody has any individual questions for me. We do ask that you remain cognizant of social distancing and of mask wearing. And also, we want to remind you that the season isn't that far away. And we look forward to seeing you back here next fall for Fin Fever and as we open up the season under Jordan Mincy and the Mincy era begins. Thanks for being here.